Hi everyone, today we'll be installing Flex Media Server on our Diet 5 operating system. I'll be showing you how to install Flex in a VMware virtual machine, but the steps are exactly the same if you're installing it on a Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. We will head over to the Diet Pi software uh, section and scroll down to Browse Software. Here we'll find Plex Media Server, select it, and then we'll scroll down to install. This is asking us to confirm our installation for Plex Media Server, hit OK, and the process will begin. Plex Media Server takes uh, some time to install, so please be patient. While that is installing, let's head over to the DietPy software website to look at what port number we need to use in order to access our Plex installation. We'll go to the software section and then search for Plex. As you can see, DietPy software has a lot of options in terms of pre-built and pre-configured software to use from. So let's select Plex Media Server. We'll be using port interface 32400 slash web. In order to find your IP address, you can go from DietPy config. We will show you the IP address at the very top. So let's grab our IP address real quick. Select it, copy. We'll head back to the browser, paste, and then we'll add in our port number followed by slash web. This will take us to the welcome page for Plex server. As you can see, it says the current server is not associated with the Plex account. You can log in with your existing Plex account. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new account for tutorial purpose. I will go Google search for a Plex account and click on sign up. You can also use your existing Google account or you can connect your Facebook account with it. I like to make separate email account for most of my services to keep things simple. My account is created. We'll head back to the Plex server page. We'll click continue with email and we'll enter our login information again. This part usually takes a few minutes uh, to configure, but sometimes it does get hung up on there. So what I usually do is I'll give it about 30 seconds and then I'll hit refresh button. 
and that usually seems to bypass whatever this is trying to do in the background. Here we can see this is just a usual flex account. And let's go ahead and hit the refresh on there. Now, as you can see, it says ready to be set up. We'll click got it or rename the server to whatever you want. And we want to make sure allow all site access is enabled. On the next session, it will ask us about media library configuration. Here we will be able to add our movies folders, music folder, as well as folders for our TV shows. For tutorial purposes, I'm going to skip. We'll just select any folder for now. In an upcoming video, I will show you how to mount external storage in DietPy and use that as a uh, media storage. That will most likely link with uh, a video in which I will show you how to install Nextcloud. And in that video, I'll be mounting an external drive to be used for Plex as well as Nextcloud. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe. See you in the next one.